I am very confident in, in the case that we have. The, the evidence provided and, and the arguments that we will make in our memorial, I believe are solid, are on solid, solid ground. And I have every confidence that we will be successful. So when we do that, then we expect a counter memorial from Guatemala in six months' time, and then we can, no, uh, sorry, uh, they will respond to our counter memorial, and then we get six months to, re to respond to their counter to our counter memorial. So we are still about a year or two away from the hearings, but the memorial that we will submit, I think is extremely solid and, and, and puts the case to Guatemala that they simply have no claim. It is unfortunate that we, we can't say much more um, to the public because the rules don't allow us to. But I just, with, with all the lawyers, and they don't always give us um, things or advice that we want to hear, they tell us things that are tough. But with all of that, when you look at the case itself and the way they lay it down, and with the input from, from everybody, involved, I think Belize has a solid case in the battle. There was um, a demarcation of the, the land borders of Belize, but there was never really a demarcation for the maritime areas of Belize. I mean, officially that by, by treaty or whatever means. So that has to be determined by international law. And with that determination and where we are, I think we, we, we have been assured that, you know, I mean, this is the best possible case that any country can have to keep all their territory intact. 